colors like Popeye. Money changing colors like Tada. Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Um, thank you guys for clicking my video first and foremost. Um, for anybody who already subscribed to my channel, welcome back. Um, anybody who's brand new, welcome to my family. You know, I call you guys family because you guys are supporting me. I appreciate all the support, comments, likes, shares, man. Like, for real. Y'all understand how much I appreciate that. But in this video, I just wanted to pretty much go over what I actually packed for my deployment. Because I ran into that question a lot, not knowing what to pack for a deployment. And I asked a few people and they didn't know, you know. But every deployment is going to be different. So when I tell you guys, when I tell you guys what I packed or what I feel you should pack, it might be different from where you're going. So you might not pack the same things. But I'll go over like the gear they gave me as well as like the personal stuff I brought with me. Like whether it's my laptop, um, shoes, clothing, whatever. So I just go over everything, whatever, man. Whatever I packed, whatever I feel you should, you should pack. And like, that's pretty much it. You know, so hopefully you guys enjoy. It's gonna be a short video. So first and foremost, they give you this big green duffel bag, some black gloves, socks. Let me roll these up real quick. If y'all don't mind, real quick, real quick. I won't lose them. You know, it went in by the way. Um, you also have a bunch of name tape. So, got name tapes, um, U.S. insignia, whatnot. To go on my uniform is Velcro, of course, because my uniform are OCPs. So, got that stuff. Got some rank, you know, staff sergeant, staff sergeant. Uniform jacket. All right, I just threw this stuff in here, by the way. Um, I wasn't gonna fold everything, so I just threw it in there and I got it out of there. Another jacket, so there's two jackets. A pair of pants. Another pair of pants. Socks. Ooh, skills, skills. Little mesh thing. Um, for laundry, put my laundry in there or whatnot. Oh, these long johns, like sand color long johns. Outstanding, I love them. Let's see. Um, all right, I got this, but I have no idea what to see. I'm guessing it's some type of towel. I don't know, I don't know. Y'all tell me, if y'all look, if y'all know what this is, let me know, what am I supposed to use this for? Because I don't think it's the little, face wrap thing maybe oh maybe it's a scarf like type thing no no well, let me see no yeah you feeling that all right cool no gas mask If I can get it out, I'll show y'all. Got the gas mask, you know. These big ass boots. Big ass boots. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Size 17 right here. I got some big feet. But I won't wear these. I already got a pair already that I wear. I won't use these at all. But they make you bring all your gear. So I brought that. Got some gloves. Um, hat. More uniform bottoms. A web belt. Hey, you want the BMT? Base training. Hey, we back with the web belts. Slick gloves. Hey, like a little Santee long sleeve. I might keep that out because I might, you know, use that. 
I like long sleeves and canteen to go on my well belt on those hot days. Need a little bit to drink. Got the canteen ready. Oh man, look. So look, somebody stole my boonie hat or bucket hat, whatever y'all want to call it. Somebody stole it from me and it had my name in it. So if you stole it, you know, please return it, please. Don't feel guilty. I won't judge you. You need it, okay? But I like it back. But so if you don't return it, I got another one. So you know, it really don't matter. You know, keep it if you want to. But yeah, bucket hat. I don't know why this barely fit, but you know, what size is this? Size seven and a half. But you know, it's cool. Oh yeah, I need these. All right. Because we have like a bunch of sandstorms or whatnot, got little goggles. I probably look real stupid in them, so let me just put this back. Let me just put these back in here, okay? I look a little stupid. So I sit in the bag, got a flashlight, you know. Flashlight, and then um, we got some insect repellent. Okay. A lot of flies out here so if you have been out here you know it's a bunch of flies and they are very disrespectful i feel like they like to touch a lip and then run you know watch out don't let them touch a lip it's disgusting you know you gotta brush your whole mouth out like with bleach you know i taste a little bleach but i ain't drink it you know i spit it out i was good but these flies disrespectful touch a lip zzz, little little bump gonna grow, you know? You know, it don't go away, you know? It don't go away. That's when you need some bleach and some ammonia. Mix it together, put it on your lip. It's gonna burn, it's gonna burn. Don't get me wrong, it's gonna burn. You good, take the pain. I ain't never ever seen that bump grow that fast. Anyway, sit back to my serious note. That's all that's inside. Your ow. All right, that kind of hurt. You know, it's a little metal part right here. Hit my knee. Look, you know, tall people got bad knees, okay? Tall people have, we have bad knees, you know? I'm 6'5, 270 pounds. I'm fat. Not fat, fat, but I'm fat. Prior to coming, like, I didn't know anything about this place. Um, I didn't know what to expect, what I needed. So I just brought, like, Necessities, I want to say. I mean, I guess I, I, I call them necessity. They might not be necessities to you. Um, so I brought a pair of pants. That's one. Some white pants. That's two. So one blue, one white. Um, because I love sweats. Sweats. Um, brought me my Air Force PT sweater. Um, I got my. I don't know if you, the rest of you fat people, if you're fat like me, then you got one of these. Bam. So just a wrap goes around and rub it in, put the wrap on, go run 26 miles, you're skinny. Just skinny. 26 miles, you gotta run 26 miles. None stop, you stop, you're gonna be fat. You run 26, Without stopping, skinny. So that explains why I'm still fat, because I ain't running 26. I'm barely gonna I'm barely gonna run a mile and a half. Like I can barely run that. But I'll run. Um, get me one shirt, A workout shirt and a little just long a regular long sleeve just to work out in to try to lose some of this weight uh, my goal is to lose 30 pounds before I leave this place this little tank top I I got from Guam back when I was stationed in Guam I, I love this tank top you know every time I see it it reminds me of Guam like I would never get rid of it um, if you've been stationed in Guam you know it's a really amazing place um, I believe it's gonna 
probably gonna be the best place I'll ever get stationed. I oh, mean, lots of laughs, lots of friends, and good times, like for real, good times. Like they're a family over there, all my boys, you know, Yule, T-Man, Asa, it's just so many. Man, like all my boys over there, man. Miss y'all boys, man. If I ain't name you, you know, you still my boy. Don't think, don't think y'all ain't, no. Got me a swear because I like to travel with a swear because I get cold because I'm anemic and I don't like to be cold. I'm from Chicago, but I still get cold. You know, I hate when people say, man, you from Chicago, you don't get cold, right? Boy, you acting totally different. It's cold. When I get cold, I get cold. I ain't trying to hear none of that. People in Chicago just know how to wrap up, you know? No, but for real, we know how to bundle up. That's all I got left. Another jacket. My toothbrush. Sounded kind of weird, but you know. Water bottle that I never use. Deodorant. More socks. Got some floss. Floss. More deodorant. Something to make me smell good. Another web belt. Gotta have the wave grease. Hey, thank you guys for watching. If you reach this point right here, then that means you watched the entire video for me. I try to keep the video short to keep you guys interested. Throughout the video, I went over all the gear that the Air Force gave me and everything that I brought with me here, like as far as personal items. Um, pretty simple stuff. Um, I decided not to bring too much because I didn't want to do all the partying and everything. And I felt like if I needed something, then I would just get it shipped here. So with that being said, I think you guys should keep it light. You know, you don't want to have to carry all that luggage around throughout airports and everything. Try to pack um, maybe a week's worth of clothing type of thing, like a pair, like a few pair of pants, shorts, socks, of course, underwear, all that good stuff. But keep it simple, you know, like unless you plan on being the life of the party and going out, turning up every weekend, which I don't plan on. I plan on living frugal and I want to save money. And she just interrupted my video. But, you know, it's okay. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs>